Over the past couple of weeks, there has been much political activity in Scotland. And, unintentionally, there has been a lot of spotlight on the Free Church of Scotland. And that's because one of our members, Kate Forbes, ran for the top political position in government. Some of the media reports have been favourable, others have been not quite so, and others have been confused. I remember thinking as I was watching some of it, I wish I had five minutes to explain to someone what our church stands for. But if you do, you have to ask, where do you begin? My answer is right here today, Easter Day, the day when the church all over the world remembers the resurrection of Jesus Christ. To me, if you take all the controversies in the Bible, everything that people fall out over and everything that people think is ridiculous, this tops them all. Because we believe that this Jesus came to life after being dead for three days. I mean, does anybody believe that? Do we actually truly believe that? Sometimes I think we tend to want to uh, symbolize the whole thing by talking about new life and green shoots and blossoms and new lambs and all the kind of things that happen at Easter time and springtime. That's all very nice, but it still leaves us with a question. Did Jesus truly, really, historically, did this dead human body that was buried in a grave actually come to life again? Because if it's true, then that's earth shattering. It is truly life transforming. Here's how important I believe it is, and I say this with all the seriousness I can think of. If I was to discover today that Jesus did not rise from the dead, here's what I would do. I would go to every Bible I own and I would shred them. And I would never, ever go to a church again, not even to a wedding or a funeral. Because if I discovered that Jesus' resurrection didn't happen, everything falls. Everything that I've come to believe in, everything that I've come to trust in in the Bible, there's no need for it anymore because it has come to nothing. Now, some people say, well, that, that's really extreme. Surely, surely, you know, there are good things in the Bible and surely there are good things about Jesus that you would want to hold on, even if he didn't rise from the dead. Well, my answer to that is no, there aren't, because you can't believe it. It's the resurrection that authenticates the whole package. And it's not just me that's saying that. Here's what the Apostle Paul says. If Christ has not been raised, then our preaching is in vain, and your faith is in vain. We are even found to be misrepresenting God because we testified that he raised Christ who he did not raise if the dead are not raised. That's how strongly he puts it. He's saying exactly the same as I am. What authenticates Jesus and everything he was and did is the historical fact that he rose from the dead. If he did rise, then that changes everything. It's a game changer. It has to be. It means that Jesus was everything that he said he was. It means that his death on the cross was not an accident. It means that as the son of God, he came into the world on a mission. A mission that was accomplished successfully even in death, because his death was the payment for our sin and the way to be restored to God. Jesus is the solution to our greatest problem, which is our separation from God, our rebellion against God. And by taking our sin on himself on the cross and by suffering God's anger and his wrath, we can be delivered from all our wrongdoing and we can be restored to rightness with God again. 
Let me quote the hymn writer. Even in your suffering, you saw to the other side, knowing this was our salvation, Jesus for our sake, you died. And in the morning that you rose, all of heaven held its breath till that stone was moved for good, for the lamb had conquered death. And the dead rose from their tombs and the angels stood in awe for the souls of all who'd come to the Father are restored. Our greatest need today is to be restored to God. That's where I would begin to explain the gospel, the good news, the message of the church and the message of Easter to a lost and a needy world today. It's the greatest message in all the world. And I hope with all my heart that you discover this, the truth of this message for yourself. Thanks for listening.